Margo, thank you for meeting with me here and agreeing to do this video interview. And I guess my first question for you is, uh, what have you been up to lately? Well, obviously, since we're at the conference right now, you know that I've been acting as the senior liaison for the conference committee, so I'm going to breathe a big sigh of relief as this is completed, and I think they did a fabulous job. Uh, uh, in my professional work, I've been doing a lot of work with the Mentoring Center of Oakland, where we're working with highly at risk and doing transformative mentoring for young people who are in the California Youth Authority or otherwise in our juvenile justice system and having a remarkable success rate with uh, reducing recidivism with that population. Excellent. Are there any books or articles that you've published recently or are working on that you could tell us about? Well, uh, I did a podcast, uh, which was uh, obviously one of my first experiences with doing something other than what we had done for ISPI. I did one for a person who has a business on communication and she has been filming thought leaders in certain areas. It was interesting to sit in her small office in front of her computer and do that and see how she did the graphics. And so I guess I am learning more about using technology because I've always felt that writing is very hard work for me. Very good. Thank you. Um, part of the legacy series that we're trying to capture here is some memories or stories from the past of some of our uh, luminaries or people that were important to you in the society and in uh, human performance technology? Well, obviously they go together. And as I recall this morning in the introductory session for the technology and for the conference, that my first conference was 1966. And I had the good fortune on the shuttle van on the way into the hotel to meet Bill Vetterlein and Peter Pipe, both of whom became 